Good morning. It's Friday, June 9th. I had five sales yesterday. Not a good volume. Great sales though. One of them is stupendous. If it would have been the only sale yesterday, it would have been great. I'm Cajun Bell and I show you every day what a full-time reseller sells on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And it was four sales on yesterday, on eBay yesterday, and one on Poshmark. First up is a pair of Levi's Silver Tab. Low and loose jeans, men's 30 by 32, blue denim, baggy, um, Y2K, grunge, skater. Had these for one month. Um, I love the sell through on the silver tab jeans. Now, this is not the silver tab jeans that everybody's looking for. If you look at this tag and it says silver tag and it says baggy, those are the good ones. Those have a really, really great sell through and will sell for 40 to 50 bucks. These did sell for 30, which is just fine. Um, they're in great condition too. They don't have any major issues, but like the baggy ones can have major issues and they still sell for 40 to $50. So definitely want to look out for those and maybe they're going down now or something like that. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've actually found the silver tab baggy ones. So it could be, could be that that's something that's not as so hot as it was, you know, a year ago, six months ago. I haven't looked honestly and I will look if I find some silver tab baggies obviously I would look to see but definitely if you see silver tabs you want to check them just check them just see look it up see how it's going but the baggies are astounding <laughs> and if you can find them in like really great condition they can go for a lot of money These sold, I said it, didn't I? I said, yeah, in one month. And then my cost of goods on these are, is $7. I hope this fits in here. I did find these at a regular Goodwill. So where my average is seven, which I don't normally find these at the regular Goodwill. I find, I don't find a lot of vintage type stuff at the regular Goodwill usually. I usually find newer stuff. Usually my vintage stuff comes from my little church thrifts or the bins and stuff like that. So I was actually surprised to find these at the regular Goodwill. I guess I don't go to an area that has a lot of vintage stuff. It is a younger area. So, all right, let's see. Padded flat rate. Buyer paid $8.59 in shipping. I will be paying... 8.30 so and they paid $30 that was my price they they offered me that I think I had them priced at like 40 though so it wasn't like it was super high my order earnings is $20 and 17 cents minus my $7 cost of goods 13 bucks so not great but it's not the worst thing ever you know, sometimes we had to pick up those filler items that, you know, are only going to sell for 30 bucks. Let's face it. These things definitely happen. What's the next one? Next one's pretty good. It's a good brand to know. Um, and it is a uh, vintage brand. And I've had it for seven months, which means that it sold for half off of my original price. And, which means I priced it really high. <laughs> and I did because it was something different and it, there wasn't many on the market. So I just went high and just saw what happened. And when it finally sold at 50% off, I'm good with it. It still sold for $44.55. So this is a vintage Liberty House Hawaii women's two-piece pantsuit blue Asian Mandarin eight. So this is the pants. And this is the shirt. Liberty House usually does Hawaiian print shirts. This is, here is your, your tag. It is very vintage. You can see it. When you see a vintage tag like this and you see the word Hawaii on it, made in Hawaii, Hawaii, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to want to look it up because some of this stuff can sell for pretty good prices. Definitely look that kind of stuff up. And like I said, 44, 44 
44.55 that's not bad and this actually did come from a church thrift like I said a lot of my vintage stuff comes from church thrift so not really a big surprise there and like I said it before I did have it priced way up because there just weren't there was a lot of shirts and other stuff in this brand at the time that I was listing this but I did not find any of these little pants suits and this was way different than what the normal Liberty House stuff was so I think I've sold Liberty House before I'm pretty sure I have I don't know it all kind of runs together after a while doesn't it it's been a minute since I've did I have because I don't remember it offhand but I'm pretty sure I have I do look up everything that says made in Hawaii and maybe 40 percent ish 30 percent of it is actually worth making out so you know it's definitely not one of those things where all the Hawaii things are worth money now definitely not but there is some out there that can be so definitely look them up all right this is a first class pack hey it's going to Hawaii that's cute <laughs> Going to Honolulu. Love it. It's going back to its home. We love that. 10 ounces. Buyer is paying $4.29 in shipping. I am paying $5.33. And what is my earnings on this one? A little better than the last one. We'll apply like $5 cost of goods. It might have been a three one. But I'm going to go with five because five's in between three and seven. <laughs> kind of just, you know. I don't know how much I paid for this set, honestly. I do remember it being from a church store, though. Um, order earnings of $31.90. And so, let's just say $32. $29. $28, $29 dollars earnings on this one. Should not show you all the, the label. Whoopsie. That's not bad. Go with that one. I think next one is the best one. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. This one is so good. This is a Halston dress. Why do I have first class in here? Let's see. No, it's promotional. Okay. I'll be paying the shipping on this one. They used the coupon where you get free shipping, which is fine because it sold for $191.99. Yeah, I'm good. I, you can have the free shipping. <laughs> Okay, let me show y'all this dress. It is so gorgeous. I love this dress. It sold in three weeks. So I don't have a lot of experience with Halston itself. I have sold Halston Heritage before, but the regular Halston tag I have never sold. So I wasn't sure, you know, how well it would do. I was kind of impressed that it sold in three weeks. It is really, really pretty. And I just picked up another Halston dress that I think probably would sit, but we shall see but look at this dress this is just gorgeous I'll show you all the tag in a minute <laughs> just, I'm just look at the look at this I don't know if you can really appreciate it you have to probably go look at my picture but it's like this full-on like maxi length gorgeous sequined printed like very um, art deco type dress. Let me read the title to y'all. Halston Lexa Gown Women's 10 Black Gold Sequin Beaded Chiffon One Shoulder and then I had the original price of $795 in there. Wow. And here is the original. It's new with tags. I got this from the local dirt cheap store. Here is your tag. Halston. Now Halston if you're looking at Halston, you're seeing Halston in stores, be careful. If the tag says Halston and has just a single H, I think it's above the Halston name. It might be below. Got this weird hair going on here. It's a slut funny on it. <laughs> All right. We're going to live like this. Okay. If it has like just a single H either above or below, I can't remember. Don't pick that up. That's horrible. That's absolutely terrible. Even at the $1 Dillard's clearance sale, I would not pick that brand up. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely. It is a very, um, it's almost like fast fashion. I mean, it's really, really thin materials, not great quality, 
but the Halston tag can do well and then Halston Heritage can do well. I have sold a lot of Halston Heritage for great prices also. Almost all dresses. <laughs> I don't think I've ever picked anything up. And I've seen some other Halston Heritage stuff, but I've never bid on it. Um, I really just kind of stick to the dresses for this kind of stuff. Not that the other ones can't do well. I just, I'm not the, I'd, I've never done it, so I don't want to tell you that it can, you know. So, there you go. Anyway, this dress... She is a beauty. I do have to say, uh, I guess a, a little note of warning. Now that I've started picking up these more expensive dresses on the regular, I would like to say that I do seem to have a good amount of them come back. And I don't know if that's a fit thing. I mean, I put measurements and listings and all that good stuff. But I do seem to have you know, a higher return rate on my fancy expensive dresses. And I don't know if that is because people are renting it, which it wouldn't surprise me if they were, honestly. It would not. Um, so, for me, I, eh, obviously I have feelings about it, and but they're mixed feelings, and I'm not going to get too up in arms about it. Um, because I feel like returns are part of our business that we do. If you don't like returns, I do suggest not selling um, formal wear on eBay specifically. <laughs> Very specifically eBay because people can't, it's so easy to return stuff on eBay. It's just, it's just a warning, you know. If that's not your bag, it's fine. I make enough it is what it is and you know in the grand scheme of things of all the formal stuff I have sold and that y'all have seen me sell in the last couple of months I have definitely I'm in the plus let's just say it that way you know I'm, I'm definitely in the plus but yeah I mean it really bums you out I also feel like you know when someone's paying $200 for something they have higher expectations, and I don't understand that. If I'm paying $200 for something, it better be perfect, you know? So I get it. But I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't have a lot of feelings on it, honestly. But I know there are people that, you know, really just hate returns and don't want to bother with it, and I understand that. I get it. So, there you go. You've been warned. <laughs> I just had a McDougal dress come back last week. I have another one in the process of coming back. And the um, Polo Ralph Lauren tuxedo jacket that I sold for like 120 that's coming back to me now too. So, you know, it's like $500, $600 in returns right there. It's a lot. But those things will resell, so that's kind of a whatever at the end of the day. All right, it's, it's warm in here. Where is this going? Let's see. It's going to Chicago. Should I put, I should put plastic on this, huh? Yeah, let's throw some plastic on this baby. Let's make her really nicely wrapped up. I do hate wrapping these dresses up. I'm not gonna lie. But I hate shoes more. <laughs> I hate boots the most. In the grand. We're doing ratings from one to ten. What's the easiest? Swimsuits. Swimsuits is the easiest. Brawls, brawls really easy. Dresses is up there though. Dresses is up there with the boots. And then of course like breakables. Breakable is the worst, right? Even though I love selling that kind of stuff, just because I have interest in that kind of stuff, I hate wrapping them up and stuff, so. Hence the clothes. Hence the clothes. That's why I sell clothes. I also sell clothes because of the abundance of clothes. You know, walk into any, um, 
thrift store. What is the most of what they have in those stores? Clothes. I'm trying to get all the air out of here. Okay. I'm mean, working hard up in here to die. Let's see. Let's see how bad the shipping is going to be. I'm kind of scared. Chicago's not too far, I guess. It's middle of the country. I bet it's in my. What is that called? Your region? Wouldn't surprise me if it was in my region. I should probably look that up one day. As much as I ship, would be a beneficial thing to know, huh? All right. How much are you going to be? Are you going to be outrageous? Are you going to make me want to cry? Oh, no, it's not bad. $9.59. All right. I think I paid $40 for this dress. I'm not totally sure at this point because I've sold and bought so many of these. Um, the way that the liquidation store that I've been buying all of these formal dresses from works is that when they first get there, they are $40. And then over time, kind of like my store, <laughs> over time, whatever doesn't sell gets marked down. So it starts out at 40 and then it's like 30 and then it's like 25, blah, 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 blah. And then they do have sales. Some weekends they'll have sales where the... Um, your purchase will be like 20% off and stuff. So at the very, very, very most, I paid $40 for this dress, but it could be anywhere between 20 and 40, honestly. Overall, my cost of goods, all my inventory I have right now on hand is still below $5 an item. So it all evens out over time. But we're going to apply a $40 cost of goods. This is a hefty little package. All right. Purchase shipping label. And let's go do a calculation and see how much I made on this one. So my order earnings is $168.16 minus my 40 in cost. So we're at $128. And then my shipping was $9. So... 128 so we're at 119 not bad that's a huge difference though from 190 something to 119 so you get an idea of how much all these costs eat into your your actual earnings at the end of the day <sighs> that was a good feeling though when that sale came through i was not getting good sales yesterday i mean obviously i didn't have a lot of them yesterday and when that one came through, finally, I was like, yes, <laughs> you saved my day. And then like two seconds later, the Liberty House one came through. So I was good. It was good. <laughs> good, good, good. This sold in one day. Another one dayer. I talked about these in a haul, maybe. Did I do a haul for this one? I don't remember. This is the Athleta Skyline Pants. I've sold these before. I have sold them um, without the ties. These are a size zero, 00, and I still pick them up because it's such a new style. Where's the tag? If you go to the tag, it has the date of spring 21. So new enough style, plus I've sold them before. I knew, and they're a pretty color, right? Nice color. I knew that they would sell pretty quickly. I didn't think they would sell in one day with such a small size, but I had, a offer come in for them for 26 I was hoping for 30 but with such a small size I just went ahead and took it I went with it because you know some of these really small sizes like this they can really sit so I just went ahead and took that I don't have to worry about it sitting now I much rather 26 than 15 right if it sits for six months, it'll be 15. These are the things I consider when I accept offers. Now, had these been a size large, and I'd only had for one day, and they, that $26 offer came in, I wouldn't have took it. I would have just held out, because I know 
I have enough experience with this brand and these pants. I know that they are, they're going to sell for 30 and they're going to sell for, and I know it's just $4 difference, but I also know that within the week they're going to sell for 30. So I'm okay. You know, I have to be pretty sure about something like that to do that though. Okay. <laughs> and with that size zero, zero, I was not pretty sure about it. So that's why I went ahead and took a $26 offer. Y'all get what I'm putting down here? Y'all understand what I'm going with here? I hope so. Got a little snoring puffy on the floor there. She's doing well for those wondering. She's definitely got some serious skin issues. Serious, serious little allergy dog right there. She's a bulldog breed, so that's the thing. For those y'all out there that know, you know. Just one of the, if you know, you know things. Bulldogs just have terrible skin. But she is doing well. She's, we're, we're getting it done. We're getting her better. Little pumpkin. All right. So for 26, cost is seven. Um, so not a great one on that one, but I knew that. I knew that when I bought them. I'm not dumb. <laughs> I knew with the zero, zero, you know, the value was not huge on that one. But $7 cost, we are at $14 earnings on that one. And that coffee is hitting right this morning. All right, now I have one sale on Poshmark. Not a great sale, don't care though, because it's one of my $1 items. It's a little bra that I had a bunch of, the same one. So super fast to list, sold in three days. It is a Notori, y'all know I love selling Notori bras. Notori Limitless Convertible Sports Bralette. And bralettes don't go for as much as regular bras, FYI. Women's small black stretch wireless. They accepted my $15 offer. That is what I had it listed at because brawl it. That's what they sell for. I paid a dollar. And after fees, what it should be. Oh, that shipping discount. Oh, that shipping discount hurts. <laughs> after shipping discount and fees, $9.98 is the earnings on that one. Minus a whole buck, eight bucks. Nothing special there. But like I said, I literally take pictures of all of them really quickly and list. You're doing self similar listings on these, so it's so fast to list this stuff. I love, 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 love. Love listing bras. <laughs> I listed a bunch of them last night. I timed it. I listed like 12 bras and it took me like 15 minutes. I don't even think it took that long. It was really super, super fast. It was awesome. It's just so, so easy. Whew. It's warm in here. It's so humid. So humid. It's only the beginning of summer. I'm not even in it yet. It's already yucky. Okay, that's it. It was super slow, like I said, but the earnings were there, so I'm happy. Um, Kind of like yesterday. The volume is definitely down. I can see it. So it's just, just going to make me work harder. Not this week. I'm sure my niece is like, I have family in right now, and my niece is probably like jittering because she needs to get over here so quick. I told her she had to wait till 930. <laughs> so I think it's 830 now. <laughs> oh, it's 853. I told her she had to wait till 930 to come over because I need to wake up first. <laughs> Goofy kid. All right, y'all have a great weekend. I hope I see you Monday. Hey, y'all do something that I never say. Subscribe and like.